is a Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to solve a problem from exponential series. So let's get started. Problem: Find find the sum of the series 2 by 1 factorial plus 2 plus 4 by 2 factorial plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 by 3 factorial plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 by 4 factorial plus so on. So we are we are given a series. So we have to find the sum. of this given series solution given series is 2 by 1 factorial plus 2 plus 4 by 2 factorial plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 by 3 factorial plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 by 4 factorial plus so on okay so here you can take two common from the numerator right 2 by 1 factorial let's take two common from these two terms we we'll get 1 plus 2 that is 2 into 1 plus 2 is 2 into 1 is 2 plus 2 to the 4 by 2 factorial plus again to Take two common from these three terms. You'll get one plus two plus three. Two into one is two. Two into two is four. Plus two into three is six. By three factorial. Plus two into one plus two plus three plus four. By four factorial. Plus so on. Now we can take two common from all these terms. We'll get two into one by one factorial plus one by two by two factorial plus one plus two plus three by three factorial plus one plus two plus three plus four by four factorial plus so on. Okay. Fine. So we are having series two into one by one factorial plus one plus two by two factorial plus. One plus two plus three by three factorial plus one plus two plus three plus four by four factorial plus so on. Okay. So here you can consider the first four terms. You having. First term t1 equals to one by one factorial, and second term t2 equals to one plus two by two factorial, and third term one plus two plus three by three factorial. We are having fourth term t4 equals to one plus two plus three plus four by four factorial. So on. So what could be the nth term? You get in the denominator n factorial. You get n factorial in the denominator, and in the numerator, the sum of numbers ends with number n, right? See, for t four ends with four by four factorial. Likewise, for one, one by one factorial two. Ends with two by two factorial three, ending with three by three factorial, right? Likewise for t n, it could end with n. And in the denominator you'll have n factorial. Fine. So we we'll write it as. Two into 
summation 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1 plus n by n factorial for n equals to 1 to infinity. Okay, since we are having plus so on, we don't know where it ends. So, we will take infinity here. Why we are taking n equals to 1? Since it starts with 1 factorial. For n equals to 1, we will get 1 factor in the denominator. And again, we know that since 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on plus n equals to n into n plus 1 by 2. Sum of n numbers. Okay. So now we will replace 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on n plus n by n into n plus 1 by 2. So this equals to 2 into summation n equals to 1 to infinity into n into n plus 1 by 2 divided by or by n factorial. By substituting the values of n in n into n plus 1 by 2 into n factorial, you will get the values of t1, t2 and so on terms. Fine. So this equals to 2 into summation n equals to 1 to infinity n into n plus 1 by 2 into n factorial. Now you can take this to outside the summation. You will get 2 into 1 by 2 into summation n into summation n equals to 1 to infinity n into n plus 1 by n factorial. Okay. So here 2 2 gets cancelled. You will get n equals to 1 to infinity, n into n plus 1 by n factorial. So this n and n plus 1 should get cancelled here. To cancel this n and n plus 1, we will use this n factorial. Since we know that n factorial equals to 1 into 2 into 3 into so on into n minus 1 into n. And also we know that n minus 1 factorial equals to 1 into 2 into 3 into so on into n minus 1. Right? So you can replace this 1 into 2 into so on into n minus 1 by n minus 1 factorial. So that you will get n factorial equals to n minus 1 factorial into n or n into n minus 1 factorial. Okay? So now we can replace n factorial by n into n minus 1 factorial. Since n factorial equals to n into n minus 1 factorial. So this equals to summation n equals to 1 to infinity n into n plus 1 by n into n minus 1 factorial. Now cancel this n. We'll get summation n equals to 1 to infinity n plus 1 by n minus 1 factorial. Since in the denominator you are having n minus 1 factorial, so the numerator, you have to write this numerator in terms of n minus 1. Okay? The numerator you are having n plus 1. We have to write it in terms of n minus 1. So, replace n by n minus 1. See, you have to get plus 1. What is the number you have to add to this minus 1 so that you will get 1? 2 minus 1 is equal to 1, right? So, we will add plus 2, right? So, we get... Right? So, we will replace n plus 1 by n minus 1 plus 2. So, this is equal to summation n equals to 1 to infinity n minus 1 plus 2 by 
एन माइनस वन फैक्टोरियल So this equals to summation n equals to one to infinity okay you are having this right so now what we'll do since we are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator so you can split the total expression into two terms so you could write it as summation n equals to 1 to infinity n minus 1 by n minus 1 factorial plus 2 by n minus 1 factorial. Okay. Again, this equals to summation n equals to 1 to infinity n minus 1 by n minus 1 factorial plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity 2 by n minus 1 factorial. Since you are having n minus 1 factorial in the denominator and you have n minus 1 in the numerator, I think we can cancel this n minus 1 from this numerator using the formula of n minus 1 factorial. Since we have n minus 1 factorial equals to 1 into 2 into 3 into so on into n minus 2 into n minus 1, right? So you can write this 1 into 2 into so on, 3 into n minus 2 as n minus 2 factorial, okay, into n minus 1. So since n minus 1 factorial equals to n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial, So you can replace the denominator by n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial. So this is equal to summation So this is equal to summation n minus 1 by n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial plus take 2 since 2 is constant right so we will take it outside the summation Now you can cancel n minus 1, n minus 1 here, right? Since we have n minus 2 factorial in the denominator, so we'll take n from 2 to infinity. Okay? 2 minus 2 is 0. So you have to take n equals to 2 to infinity in order to neglect the complexity. If you write n equals to 1, you'll get 1 minus 2 is minus 1, right? So we, ta we don't take from 1 to infinity will take from 2 since you are having n minus 2 factorial in the denominator. So now cancel n minus 1. So this is equals to summation n equals to 2 to infinity. 1 by n minus 2 factorial plus 2 into summation n equals to 1 to infinity into 1 by n minus 1 factorial. So now you can expand this from n equals to 2 to infinity. So I'll take first three times, okay? 1 by for n equals to 2, 2 minus 2 factorial. For n equals to 3, you'll get 1 by 3 minus 2 factorial plus n equals to 4. n equals to 4, you'll have 1 by 4 minus 2 factorial plus so on. Okay, plus 2 into, here also we'll take the first three terms, that is for the first three numbers I can say. 
1 by foreign equals to 1, you have 1 minus 1 factorial plus foreign equals to 2, you have 1, sorry, 2 minus 1 factorial and foreign equals to 3, you have 3 minus 1 factorial plus so on. Okay? So this equals to 1 by 2 minus 2 is 0 factorial plus 1 by 3 minus 2 1 factorial plus 1 by 4 minus 2 2 factorial plus so on plus 2 into 1 by 1 minus 1 0 factorial plus 1 by 2 minus 1 1 factorial plus 1 by 3 minus 1 2 factorial plus so on. Since we know that 0 factorial equals to 1, so this becomes 1 by, you are having 0 factorial, right? So replace it by 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial. Write the remaining terms as it is. Plus 2 into 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by, sorry, 1 by, you are having 0 factorial, right? 0 factorial is 1. Plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus so on. 1 by 1 is 1. So you could write it as 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus so on. Plus 2 into 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus so on. Since we know that. E equals to 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus so on. Or we have e power x equals to 1 plus x by 1 factorial plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial plus so on. If you put x equals to 1, you'll have e power 1 which is e equals to 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 square is 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 cube is 1 by 3 factorial plus so on. Since 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial is e, so this becomes e plus 2 into e. This equals to 3e. So therefore, the sum of the given series is equals to 3e. Therefore, 2 by 1 factorial plus 2 plus 4 by 2 factorial plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 by 3 factorial plus so on is equals to 3e. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from exponential series in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.